In this video, we're gonna be designing a sci-fi grenade. We're gonna also texture this using Blender Bros mods. Let's go. Look, modeling is important, I know, but so is everything else in the design process. In our free Hard Surface Jumpstart course, you will not only feel more comfortable with hard surface modeling, but also confident with rendering and excited about your new game-changing portfolio. Link is in the video description. Let's get started. So, let's grab a cylinder and let's get cracking. So here we're gonna go with AT, yeah, because we need a lot of resolution. So S, Z, and you know, we're gonna make it tall-ish, tall-ish, yeah? Um, here, and we're going to chamfer that. Boom, but we're gonna make this a little bit less chamfery, okay? So, you know, go to top view and scale this out a little bit, yeah, like that, cool. Awesome, awesome. And here in the bottom, you know, we can check for it as well. Okay, so now uh, let's smooth it out. And uh, now we need to think about, you know, creating some interesting shapes. So first of all, here on the top, what we're going to do is we're going to insert this and extrude it down. And we're going to shift curve extract it up. And let's just uh, to geometry and scale this. Right. Now we're going to grab a cube and scale it down, move it somewhere here. And we're going to extrude it so G, X, and move it somewhere here. And then we're going to use uh, Ctrl R with uh, edge constraint. And we're going to extrude it down here. Okay. And then we're going to extrude it down like this. And scale it on Y axis. Right. And we're going to chop it off. All right, cool. Okay, now here, what we need to do is uh, grab this loop and, you know, expand it. So shift curve extract like this. And we're going to go to the top and let's apply this here. Yeah? And we're going to cut it, okay, with an end gun. So grab an end gun and we're going to slice it like that. Okay. I'm going to recover this. So I have a scroll. That's the one. And we're going to rotate it on the cursor. So select this cutter right and then q and mesh tools and radial array and uh you know that many will do right now let me see that now let's just scale this in there we go that looks pretty dope i like that cool in fact we could actually uh, make it a bit more narrow here so let's grab this cutter and scale it like this and see what gonna, what's gonna happen yeah, that's a bit better. I like that. Cool, cool, cool. In fact, this could be a little bit smaller. So let's just scale this. Hang on. Go to edit mode, SX, and scale it in like this to create larger uh, elements here around. Yeah, that's going to look a bit cooler. I like that. Here in the bottom, we're going to have indentations. So let's just uh, drop a loop here. And we're going to make this one thicker. So let's just grab. Uh, Altium macro here, right? Okay, select that and scale it in like this. And I think what we're gonna do is select all of them, run shop, and bevel them. Yeah, like this. This is pretty interesting. Okay, here on this side, we could create. Um, um some kind of an element so mesh and cube move it in here and scale it and move it closer maybe we could move it like this this could be interesting we will need loops here guys all right a lot of them all right and we also will need loops here okay and then we need to sharpen this apply scale and we're probably gonna have to bevel this here and also bevel this on these edges like this right and then we're going to boolean that and then booleans and union and sharpen and then bevel and it's gonna break a little bit but we can fix it right so uh, let's just go here to occlude and you know just fix that there we go 
we could mirror to the other side and fix this here too. Here's an easy fix. I just remove this, combine these. Uh, grab these two and GG and move them outside the bevel area. And you can all take this to the other side and we good. Yeah, peachy. This one should be bevel two. So we could actually, you know, apply this. So sharpen and combine these two here. I'll take this to the other side. Remove this one and grab these two and bevel this. All right. Awesome. Same here. Combine these two. And bevel these. And the front could be also beveled here. And maybe here on the top as well. And we could create a chair for here. So let's just go here to select the loop and Control B and create a chamfer. It's going to create a nice, nice chamfer. And before we actually do that, let's bevel this. Boom. And a chamfer. There we go. That's nice. So we can grab this face here, right? And go to Q and Booleans and selection the Boolean. Scale it in a bit like this right and then you know go in here and shift click it okay and then what we can do is we can grab an end gun right and turn off cyclic and have some fun so you know make it thicker here and do something like this how are we looking How are we looking? How are we looking pretty interesting. Let's just bevel this. We're gonna have some beef here, but we can fix that, right? So let's see what's happening here. Um, oh, this edge is causing problems, right? So what we need to do is run the connection here like this, and it's gonna get fixed. And then I'll take to the other side, right? With um, hard ups in here, we got some problem too. It's an overlap here on this bevel, right? But see, since this is a flat face, we don't need any of these, okay? So what we could do is just run the face here like that. This one is an interesting one. I don't even know what's happening here. Probably this bevel is overshooting or some stuff. We need to fix it with the, uh, we don't need this either here. We're gonna fix it with a mesh machine. So remove that garbage and run a cut here like this to fix that. Okay, I don't even know what's happening in here. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So let's dissolve that, okay. That's gonna create this kind of a problem. Let's run this edge to the end here. Combine these two, there we go. That was causing problems. And here we can fix it with unfuck, yeah. So, oh, never mind. this is causing issues. I forgot that, yeah. So we can, we can remove these. Okay, we don't need them. And here we got an edge too close. Boom, done. Right, and then I'll take it to the other side, okay? And there you go, sorted. And that looks pretty decent. Here on top we need to, you know, have some fun um, a little bit. So, let's see. Let's go here to the front and let's just cut the opening here. Right, that's one. Uh, let's, uh, before we do anything, I want to have a chamfer here okay that's looking better we need some supporting loops for this um, cut here then we're gonna run the bevel on these two so let's just remove this one and then run the bevel on these two right so it's nice and supple then we're gonna apply this and then we're gonna run the uh, bevel here with offset cut let's go to loco so you can see what's happening um one more time so y and offset cut and we're going to increase increase the factor right this should be enough and we're gonna turn on smooth and turn off optimization i think and see what we can do here make a nice 
bevel click alt click here let's just uh, combine this here because it's gonna cause problems so click alt click here and then for aggressive one more time pull and clean up there we go and i think we're good okay that's looking really nice these should be supple as well so let's just bevel them right see they're breaking here on this um, so what we can do is move the cutter watch grab the cutter rz and you can rotate it until you fix your shading problems more or less you won't be able to fix everything but technically what we could do right is uh, clean that so go here and um operations in clean mesh it's gonna remove most of the issues right you're still gonna have to deal with some so let's just uh sharpen that and we could just you know fix this by going gg here and uh, just fix a few of them there's a double vert here you can actually press 3 to clean that junk and most of it should you know fall in line there's some problem here i don't even know what's causing this some flip geometry so shift n that didn't solve the problem okay so let's just go on with clean mesh there we go that's cleaned it and then we have some problem here so same thing gg sorted we got some beef here uh what is this yeah it's edge here and edge here so dissolve it and then we got edge here dissolve it and we got edge here dissolve it right and then one more edge here so dissolve it it's usually edges guys yeah you know we just like, clean them up and there you go sort it and if you wanted to you could combine them both but you know no need to be honest here we could slice this grenade in half i mean in half and connect two parts so we could do something like this and press x and slash it and you could have the top part middle part and the bottom part right and uh this middle part here right could have some fun so let's see let's do something like this shift s to geometry and scale it in a bit sharpen yeah and we got kind of like a you know so sort of like a button or some sort of a clip that you can press um looks pretty dope right and we also need a pin because you know um every grenade needs a pin right so we need a pin here that's gonna be going um kind of releasing the pressure yeah boom right and waited almost by the way here now this circle could be a little bit too dense let me see that um yeah this is too dense okay so now here you don't want a circle that's too dense so we're gonna cut through hold shift and scroll down a little bit right and we also need to i think they're just edges in here what is going on here it's the connections guys so this edge here see that boom that's what's causing the issues so we can always fix these things guys always fixing things we can run a k here through this it's gonna fix it okay all right cool and what we need now is let's recover the cutter and let's go to settings and shift click on shade solid scale it in a bit right and move it outside so move it outside and sharpen it and then we're going to bevel it right like that okay and we need to move it a bit more out and here what we're gonna do is we're going to slice it yeah so slice it i see that um shading problem in the bottom here slice it here what the hell is going on is this where is it happening this one this one is too close gg boom right done and here we're gonna flatten this right so and let's add a loop here right then let's add more loops okay 
and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it right so you know kind of like this right and then marry to the other side right and i will scroll that and we need to find a place it's you know causing the least amount, least amount of damage so maybe something like this right let's apply that okay and we're gonna have to fix it okay so you know combine these and then you know move this one outside of the bevel area you can combine these if you want to um you know we, we could literally move this way right? we don't need it and then combine these two combine these two let's go to local and combine these two we could remove unnecessary geometry by going to Q and operations clean mesh. It's gonna help a little bit. Okay, so now here what we need to do is we need to actually kind of contain the shading on the other side like that. Let me see this here. What we need here is combine this edge. Whoa, this side. Okay, not a look we need here. Through that, okay. Let me see, but that's a bit too close. So, GG, there we go. And you got this area contained now. So, this one, okay, doesn't even, doesn't even have to be here. Or you can move it. So, GG, and move it a little bit outside the bevel area. But before you do that, what we could do is run an edge here that's going to kind of support the shading, and then we can move this one outside. GG. See what I mean? So you're gonna kind of, you know, rescue that shading over there on the other side. So I'll take to the other side, good. It's in the bottom, so you can't see it anyway. And then D here, and we're gonna run a hole. I mean, D. Here we're gonna run a cut um, through this, right? It's a bit too big, so I'll scroll, right? Let's set it to global as shift X. What what axis is this? Oh, it's the Y axis. S shift Y. There we go. Make it a bit smaller and move it somewhere here. And we're going to run an edge here so to help with you know with the shading. There we go. Right. And you know you're done basically. Okay. The one all we need is a bit of a wire, right? So we could do it with a screw, right? So we could grab a hard up screw here we don't even have to model these guys okay and we're going to hold control and squash it down right and then we're going to thin it out one of them this one and squash it lower now what we can do now is uh, apply this so uh, operations and multiply we can grab this here and control plus this i can't be fucked you know looking for the correct modifiers like seven or eight modifiers over there so this is you know faster for me something like that and you know words right and this will do we're gonna close that f you know f here And then simply bevel this, right? Now we're gonna place it in uh, in this uh, hole here. It's still too big, so make it smaller and rotate it like that. Drop it in here, make it even smaller. And we can even recover the cutter here, or grab this. Yeah, let's recover the cutter and move the cursor to the cutter. And just pivot on the cursor, it's gonna be easier, okay? So, here, grab that and you know, so it kind of rests on on this uh, grenade here. There we go. We are sorted. And the rest can be done with decals and you know whatnot. Uh, we can create all kinds of details here uh, very easily. So let's do it now, shall we? Oh, uh, yes, also on the top, I wanted to create one groove here just for fun. So grab that and kind of create a groove here with a bevel 
here like that. And I'm gonna have to fix the uh, the shading. So I have a scroll, and the bevel is a little bit crazy. So you know, drop the bevel down here. It's a little bit too dense, if you know what I mean. And uh, that's a bit better. We could introduce some loops to help with the shading. We're gonna have some some beef here in the corner, uh, but it's gonna be you know sorted by simply fixing these uh, a little bit right so you know um, this one has to go down combine these gg gg and combine these two this one technically should be running this way i think it's gonna be better yep it's more relaxed you see and that kind of works. You're gonna have some delicate shading problems, but you know, uh, who cares? It's, this is like so minute. You're gonna cover this with texture, so don't worry about it. GG, you could move it up a little bit here to relax it, or remove this one. Uh, that's maybe not the best idea. Hang on, how to solve this? Hmm, GG, move it down. Huh, that's a nasty one. No, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run one more here. And this should help. There you go. Because this face is too big and it's just kind of being bent. So run a, run a one here and you sort it. You see, you can just really finesse your way through problems with shading. It's not that complicated, guys. Here, connect these two. Shift one. Shift one. Um, we could technically drop this down so gg and drop it down here and connect it here this one should go here or even somewhere here and you know this should be removed this one is a little bit too low uh, we definitely need another um, connection here to kind of ease off this transition we probably could connect this one here, would help with shading, alt X, and you're kind of done. It's not going to be perfect, but it doesn't matter because, like I said, run a mud through it, you will not see that. Let's kind of texture this, yeah? Here, by the way, we could... So let's do it with all the macro. Yeah, punch it in like this. The only problem that's going to... This, this, this will create is going to be this face in the bottom. going to have to remove that, okay, and remove this here. And then uh, run a face here like that, okay? And then we're gonna have to also fix this one. Oh, this one is fine, cool. All right, so, you know, this is actually pretty cool. We're gonna have a trim sheet here. It separates it from the top. Uh, nice concentration of detail. Um, and here, you know, what we could do is we could create kind of like a grip area. So we could grab that and press B, okay? And we could press, um, Oh, I'm thinking now maybe with K and then select this loop here there we go shift I'll click here and there we go make sure it's closed because it's actually really important what is this dissolve and here that is weird one more time alt click ah now it's working okay cool so right click and um mark seam okay Select here, press here, L, there we go. Seam, what it will do, will allow you to select the area uh, within the seam. Now we can do is Q and Shift, Control, Click, Extract. Do that, PG, Sharpen, nice. And we're gonna have to do a bit of cleaning, so click, uh, let me see that here. I, this, this is buggered here properly. Um, I'll tell you what, let's go back here to plane okay let's grab this right let's go to local and let's fix this because this is buggered so here we need to fix this curvature here so what we could do is run the mirror tools if you don't have mirror tools get it it's free it's on github okay so we could run the mirror tools here so n and we're gonna go to mirror and curve stretch Curve extract and five is okay. Boom, it's gonna flex this here. You see that? 
It's a fantastic tool, guys. Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. On the bottom, I think we're fine, but we could also run the middle tools here just in case. Right? To fix this. So curve, five, boom. And we're going to remove this edge here. Okay, so dissolve edges, all right? That I'll take to the other side. And then we're going to solidify it. So solidify, right? Boom, and sharpen. And now it should be clean, okay? All you need to do is clean up a little bit. So here, combine these. And let's go to the bottom. Um, bottom looks clean, but, you know, we could combine these here. Just turn off box cutter. Okay, and you could, you know, clean this up. I'm not going to be doing that because it can be bothered. But there you go. And then what you want to do is you want to remove that junk here, right? So click, out, click here, X and dissolve uh, f uh, edges. So the geometry is going to be clean underneath. And here we could create some kind of like a grip or whatnot, you know, it's going to be cool. So let's grab this uh, face here in control Q. If it doesn't work for you, go to Q and uh, Mesh Tools and Align to View. And we're going to slice this here with um, a boolean. So I'm going to run a boolean here, press B and slash it, and sharpen this. And all we need to do now is do a bit of a clean up. So clean this up here. There we go. And clean this up here perpendicular to the edge, it should be fine. And then all we need to do is I'll text to your side and we're done. And now all we need to do is texture this bugger. So shift A and uh, that is the plane. Let's drop it down. Now I'm gonna be using uh, Blender Bros Mats. I'm recording this in March, uh, end of March, which means I don't really have an add-on yet, but if you're watching this in June or July, there's a good chance you'll have an access to an add-on. So enjoy, you can follow me, um, follow along. I'm going to drop, um, actually, let's go to shade editor, um, to uh, cycles. Let's make this black. Actually, this shouldn't be metal. This should be plastic, right? So let's go with a mm, rough plastic, half mud plastic. This could be interesting. Hang on. No, this is too shiny. Uh, matter of plastic, this one. Yeah, that's much better, but I'm going to increase the um, the scale. So let's go to scale here and change it to maybe 5. Yeah, that's much better. It's a bit rougher. Cool. And also we need to unwrap this. Yes, yeah, so you and, you know, UV project, yeah. Here, the middle bit, this one could be um, kind of like a silicon or some kind of like a, you know, uh, rubber. Maybe even this one. Let me see that. And this one is better, but we need to increase the scale too. So project that. And we're going to grow to scale again. So shade editor. And we're going to drop this up to maybe 20 uh, let's make it 10 this one could be metal so it could be uh, this powdered metal I uh, don't know if it's not too dark it's literally black but it's kind of cool so this you know this could work and the same with the button here you know button could be black or we could actually use um, half much steel for that. Maybe that's gonna be better. Nah, that doesn't fit. That doesn't fit. Maybe you should use the same plastic that here. Um, we have here on the bottom. That is kind of cool. This black, maybe it's a little bit too black. So let's go here because I have a math note here on this one running. So we could dial it down a little bit, you know, make it a bit brighter. Yeah, so you know, it doesn't have to be so. You know obsidian but that that is really cool now so let's use that and i'm cool with it so now here we could run the cargo floor uh, we can scale this of course uh, so let's scale on the individual 
and run a smaller scale on that so shared editor and let's run a scale of 20 maybe there we go that's better and this is pretty peachy and now what we need is some stickers right so that looks sick basically okay cool so now here we need some mud so Q and material and uh, you know uh, add black mud now we're gonna have to make it darker so it matches right okay and then run the trim sheet here so go on trim sheet 9 here alt click boom right and we could have something really cool here like that that's really awesome uh, same here on the top we could have a trim again here so um, plus mat and material and a sign that will do and uh, you know let's uh, let's make it darker there you go and then run a trim on it so maybe something different so let's run this I don't really like that let me see that's pretty cool actually nice little detail there we could make this a bit brighter you know could make it metallic you see what I mean so it kind of separates them uh, which is uh, interesting right uh, here we could have some grooves or whatnot so something like this doesn't really matter just a small detail here on the front and project it and then all you do is match it so select that match the hold shift and then match the middle boom right we, we want some text so maybe some serial number or some stuff this will do right oh that's tricky now because of this maybe i remove that and just use this you know yeah i think it's gonna be better um here this could be clean to be honest it's a grenade on the toy d and project it scale it then d and project okay and then q match tools and array that's better and then d and match shift d and hold shift and let's run something darker here it's gonna offset it nicely that looks pretty cool okay awesome this handle here could have could have not a decal because why not so project project and then d match and then d and shift there we go that's pretty cool awesome oh we forgot about that um this could be the same as this to be actually no this could be a metal right so hang on uh, let me go to shade not to um, asset loader and we could go with machine steel or this mud steel is actually pretty cool I think yeah that's pretty badass man okay cool 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 here on the top we could have something too so maybe you know maybe something like that i don't know because why not in the middle project and um and mirror and then d and match the middle and then d and hold shift and boom right we could drop something like this on the bottom r7 whatever project and 
we can drop the off on it. That is fucking sick. And here in the bottom, we could have another trim, you know, here. So let's go here to uh, this one and the sign and D and uh, I don't know. Um, we could run something like maybe like this. Let me see what we can run here. That is actually not bad, although we could run something a bit more interesting. Maybe that. Yeah, that actually works. That's pretty cool. So you can unscrew it and you know, maybe change the charge or whatever. And this one, you know, should be, uh, should have some kind of, uh, you know, thumb support. I mean, sort of finger support or whatever. Kind of like a groove in here, you know what I mean? So we could just squash this and uh, uh, scale it a bit like that and put it here in the middle and D and project. Whoa. Uh, one more time. D project there we go and then d and match shift d and shift and boom all right guys well that's it thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one